Right, hi everyone and welcome to uh, my uh, 78 channel and I really apologise uh, if not being here for a while and if you're wondering why I've not been subscribed or I've not been watching videos it's basically because I haven't put any videos up, I've not been on the channel, I've been busy on a couple of other channels that I've got. Uh, so yeah, I apologise for that. Right, what I've got here is a bundle of 78s that I recently came across so i thought you might be interested to um to know what, what i found well i found and if oh, and if you know anything about any of these or there's something i i said wrong just correct me or just or give me the information on the on the comments please 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 because i'm new to this i'm not i'm gonna get this back a little bit because it's making a noise uh, i i'm not um uh an authority on collecting 78s it's just a side hobby that I do, and uh, I just enjoy, well, I do enjoy 78s, I do enjoy jazz on 78s, and I, I did come up with something uh, that, I, uh, which is not as, is, is not usual for me to collect, but I was quite pleased to get it, although it's in a very poor condition. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, right, so I've got um, the Downtown Strutters Ball by uh, Bunk Johnson and his New Orleans Band. Uh, and on the other side, he does the uh, Saints Go Marching In. Uh, so that's the first one on the um, Hamas, uh, HMV label there. HMV label. Uh, another HMV label. And uh, it was Lionel Hampton and Orchestra. Piano Stomp, Foxtrot. And uh, Drum Stomp on the other side. That, that again was uh, HMV label, as I said. Now on the Parlophone label, oops, I've got to be careful because I've been falling off my lap. I've got not much. I haven't got much room out here, you see. That's the trouble. Maybe if I put them down here, that's better. Right. Um, I've got oh, again at the dark, at the Dark Town Strutters Ball by Benny Goodman and his orchestra. Benny Goodman. When I saw that, I was thought Benny Goodman. Yes, great. Uh, and uh, Solo Flight on the other side. That's on the Parlophone label. It's, it's a modernish one. I call them modernish ones. I think what are these are these fifties. Possible. I don't know. If you, if you know, let me know, please. I need to, I need to I need instruction. I need to learn. <laughs> um, so what else have we got here? We've got uh, Blues in the Night by Harry James and his orchestra, and Crazy Rhythm on the other side. Again on that Parlophone label. That's quite modern party phone label this one here on hmv is cocktails for two ah uh, spike jones and his city slickers now it's a comedy fun track that isn't it really and um on the other side it's um is it chloe is it Ch C H L O E? I don't know i'm not sure anyway there it is there can you see it? I don't know if it's um, uh, 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 the camera's going to um, focus on it. But cocktails for two, yeah. Spike Jones and his city slickers, and it's not in bad nick. Look at that! I was really pleased with that. In fact, I was pleased with that, even though I've got another. One. I've got two now. I know I've got another one inside indoors in me um, in me box. Uh, this one is on the Brunswick label. It's got a tax stamp on it as well. And it's Peg Oh My Heart, Red Nichols and His Five Pennies, and China Boy, Red Nichols and His Five Pennies. And they've got a stamp on both sides. I always thought they stamped one side. Got two different types of stamps as well. Is that, is that, can you see? Yeah. Anyway, um, another Parlophone label here. Uh, two o'clock jump and uh, taint what you do. Harry James and his orchestra. There we go. And it's in the correct sleeve as well. Wow. I wonder how much that sleeve is worth on its own. You put it up on. I've seen people put sleeves up on uh, on eBay and they charge quite a bit for them. Not all the sleeves, of course, were printed like that, were they? They were mainly mainly. Uh, just, just plain. Decca label. Uh, 
FDR Jones, Flanagan and Allen. Ah, Flanagan and Allen. I think, yeah, this is, this is another one I got excited about, actually. And if a grey-haired lady says, how's your father? Flanagan and Allen. Now, this, this makes my second Flanagan and Allen, um, 78. I've got the um, Siegfried line one, you know. <laughs> which is uh, a favourite of mine. I like 40s stuff. I like the uh, going to 40s uh, events and things like that, you know. Hopefully next year I'm gonna get a costume. Uh, but uh, that's another story and another hobby. <laughs> uh, this one is Count Bassey's Orchestra, Exactly Like You, and Boogie Woogie on the other side on the Brunswick. Brunswick label there. I'm trying to get through these as quick as possible because, uh, yeah. oh now, here's a capital label and, ah, oh, this is the one, this is the one I come across and I thought, ah, oh, I've got to have that. Uh, these were all, uh, the price of these, some of them were a pound each, some of them were, I think they worked out about 30p or something like that. The ones that are a pound because I, I got them uh, from a, um, a 40s event, that's why. And it was for charity, so I didn't mind paying. It was for charity. Uh, this one is Mel Blanc. And uh, I taught I tore a putty cap. And I'm glad that I'm Bugs Bunny. There we go, on that one there. I hope you can see that. Anyway, I, I do like that one, I'm gonna be playing that one at some point. Um, Put it on there for the moment so I know what it is. Uh, the next one's on a Regal Xenophone and it's In the Mood uh, by, by uh, uh, Joe Loss and his band. And the other side is At the Woodpecker's Ball by Joe Loss and his band on the Regal, on the Regal Xenophone. Regal Xenophone. So I don't know how old that is. I'd have to look up these things. Anyone knows a good website where I can really easily check out um, the uh, catalog numbers for the 78s if you could let me know is there anyone out there you could let me know right uh, Topsy Topsy by Benny Goodman and his orchestra on the HMV label and Smokehouse Rhythm Smokehouse Rhythm and Topsy Benny Goodman on the HMV and got a tax label or tax uh, stamp on them as well Another one with a stack tax stamp on it is Parlophone. It's Caledonia and Choosy, Cho Goosey Gander, Goosey Gander, Woody Herman and his orchestra. Woody Herman and his orchestra. And there we are. I don't know if this is focusing on it. I don't know. Doubt it. All right, here we go. Well, this is the last one you'll be glad to know. Uh, it's called Happy Feet by Paul Whiteman and his orchestra and a bench in the park. Paul Whiteman, he went on for some years, didn't he? Yeah, Paul Whiteman, yeah. Been about for a long time he was. Yeah, and of course, Paul Whiteman. These sort of names I know in, in jazz and big band, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not on top of the mark of everything, um, but, um, but I recognise certain names and I, and I grab them, like, you know, uh, anything that looks like it's jazzy or big band orchestra type, you know, things like that, I grab. Um, but yeah, anyway, there it was. So I'm not going to play anything. Um, this is for uh, well, something else I'm going to play. Uh, but if you want me to play anything out of that lot, then just say so and I will come back and I will do a video of it, of it playing. No worries. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed them. Some of you might have been interested. I hope you are. And uh, I hope to get back and, and watch some of your videos. I know there's, I only got a few subscribers and I, sh I, sh I should make the effort and I will try to make the effort uh, in, uh, in the future. But um, at the moment, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.